131. NASA and modern astronomy maintain that the moon is a solid, spherical, Earth-like habitation which man has actually flown to and set foot on. They claim the moon is a non-luminescent planetoid which receives and reflects all its light from the sun. The reality is, however, that the moon is observably not a solid body. It is clearly circular, but not spherical, and not in any way an Earth-like planetoid which humans could set foot on. In fact, the moon has been proven largely transparent and completely self-luminescent, shining with its own unique light. 132. The sun's light is golden, warm, drying, preservative, and antiseptic, while the moon's light is silver, cool, damp, putrefying, and septic. The sun's rays decrease the combustion of a bonfire, while the moon's rays increase combustion. Plant and animal substances exposed to sunlight quickly dry, shrink, coagulate, and lose the tendency to decompose and putrefy. Grapes and other fruits become solid, partially candied and preserved, like raisins, dates, and prunes. Animal flesh coagulates, loses its volatile, gaseous constituents, becomes firm, dry, and slow to decay. When exposed to moonlight, however, plant and animal substances tend to show symptoms of putrefaction and decay. This proves that sun and moonlight are different, unique, and opposites as they are in the geocentric flat model. 133. In direct sunlight, a thermometer will read higher than another thermometer placed in the shade. But in full direct moonlight, a thermometer will read lower than another placed in the shade. If the sun's light is collected in a large lens and thrown to a focus point, it can create significant heat, while the moon's light collected similarly creates no heat. In the Lancet Medical Journal from March 14, 1856, particulars are given of several experiments which prove the moon's rays, when concentrated, can actually reduce the temperature upon a thermometer more than 8 degrees. So sunlight and moonlight clearly have altogether different properties. 134. Furthermore, the moon itself cannot physically be both a spherical body and a reflector of the sun's light. Reflectors must be flat or concave for light rays to have any angle of incidence. If a reflector's surface is convex, then every ray of light points in a direct line with the radius perpendicular to the surface, resulting in no reflection. 135. Not only is the moon clearly self-luminescent, shining its own unique light, but it is also largely transparent. When the waxing or waning moon is visible during the day, it is possible to see the blue sky right through the moon. And on a clear night, during a waxing or waning cycle, it is even possible to occasionally see stars and planets directly through the surface of the moon. The Royal Astronomical Society has on record many such occurrences throughout history which all defy the heliocentric.